वेलकम टू एडुकेट टू फोर सेवन सो टूडे आई एम गोना आंसर द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट कन्फ्यूजन दैट अ फ्यूचर मैनेजर्स हैव कैट वर्सेज जे मैट वॉट शुड आई अपीयर फॉर और राइट बोथ द एग्जामिनेशन आई आर स्टेपिंग स्टोन टू योर एंट्री इन टू द बी स्कूल राइट सो दिस वीडियो विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू फिगर आउट द डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन कैट एंड जी मैट एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू कैन टेक योर ओन साउंड डिसीजन विद यू वो नो अपीयर फॉर जी मैट यू वो नो अपीयर फॉर कैट और यू वो नो अपीयर फॉर बोथ ऑफ दैम All right. What are the prospects with respect to each examination? What is the structure? All right. So first and foremost thing, we're gonna see the structure of each exam individually, and then I'll point out some very important differences. All right. Many of you would not be even aware about them. So let us explore CAT versus GMAT today. So let us have a look at the CAT exam structure. It is a total three-hour exam. All right. So basically, there are three sections, which is uh, VARC, Verbal Ability and Reading Comprehension, Quants. Quantitative aptitude, right? And D I L R, that is data interpretation and logical reasoning. All right. So each section is been given one hour time limit. All right. They usually begin with V A R C, then D I L R comes up as your second section, and your third section is Quants. There are a total of hundred questions in this three hours that you have to solve. Out of which, verbal ability and reading comprehension will have thirty four questions. Quantitative aptitude will have thirty four. And DILA will have thirty two questions. All right, percentile system scoring is there. All right, so your score will be addressed according to the percentile. There's non-adaptive testing. All right, you'll understand what is non-adaptive testing because G has this adaptive testing in their testing structure. All right, there are basically two slots. So either you will appear in slot one or slot two. So there is a morning slot and afternoon slot because the number of students taking this exam is quite high, and this happens only once a year. All right, so exam is scheduled only once a year, mostly during November last week. All right, so Sunday or Saturday during the last week of November, this exam is scheduled. So there is one slot one in the morning and slot two in the afternoon. All right, half the students will appear here and half the students will appear here. All right, the difficulty is almost the same. Even the structure of the questions, everything is same. All right, there are a few differences because you cannot just keep same questions, right? So this is all with respect to the structure of CAT. All right, let us see the GMAT exam structure. All right, this might be new for a lot of students, and a lot of students are inquisitive about this. So there are a total of four sections. All right, a three point five hours of examination, adaptive testing pattern. So what happens over here is the difficulty level of your next question depends on your performance in the previous question. All right. Thus, the GMAT is a test of ability as it constantly adapts and refines the test to your ability level. All right, the test starts off with a question of medium difficulty. If you answer this question correctly, the next question is of a slightly higher difficulty level. Hence, there is no option to review your answers or skip a question. All right, so let's see what the structure is. Basically, there are four sections as I have already told you. Scores out of eight hundred are calculated for verbal and cons. All right, so this eight hundred score is for verbal and cons. The other two sections are separately. You you will get independent score for them, which is A W A and integrated reasoning. What is A W A? It is analytical writing assessment. All right. So basically, thirty one question for cons to be completed in sixty two minutes. A W A is allotted thirty minutes. Integrated reasoning has twelve questions with a time limit of thirty minutes. Verbal ability has thirty six questions with sixty five minutes being allocated for it for solving it. All right. One very important feature of GMAT is it is conducted almost throughout the year multiple times. So you can take your test date according to your convenience also. All right. This is very important and this is a very major difference between CAT and GMAT. All right. Now I am going to explain you the major differences between CAT and GMAT one by one. Basically, first I'll talk about GMAT. All right, so GMAT is an examination which is globally recognized as well as globally accepted. All right, almost two thousand plus B schools accept the score. All right, and there are around about seven thousand graduate management programs worldwide that do accept GMAT score. Apart from that, a lot of premier B schools in India also accept GMAT. This GMAT examination is conducted by GMAC, that is Graduate Management Admission Council. Whereas CAT as examination is a national examination. All right, it's not globally accepted. It is mostly your gateway to IIMs and other B schools like MDI, SPJN. All right, there are a lot of 
non iim institutes also registered with cat all right so this is specifically focused with indian b schools all right gmat gives you access to indian as well as foreign b schools right speaking of which exam to take deciding between gmat versus cat is a dilemma faced by countless number of indian aspirants all right both serve as a stepping stone to getting admission into an mba program however what i feel is your career goals should factor into the decision making process of which test to choose that is gmat versus cat all right so basically one major difference that you should always explore is about the fees for gmat it is 250 dollars plus taxes right for cat it is around about 2000 or lesser than 2000 all right 2000 rupees this is dollars this is rupees gmat is a relatively simpler examination the maths is easy and the verbal section is easy as well if you have good grasp of the english language and have logical thought process students have got decent score in gmat by just preparing for 2 months or so all right that is not the case with cat completely cat you have to do rigorous preparation because you have to take a mock practice all right you have to revise a lot of concepts because the exam even though i am of the point that cat is not difficult but still if preparation is less and you have devoted less amount of time to cat and if you do not have proper root concepts in place it would be very difficult for you to crack cat generally speaking about cat it is a completely different ball game altogether it takes minimum of at least 5 to 6 months preparation for cat all right this is average some students do it in 3 months some students do it in 4 months some students even do it in 2 months but this is with a perspective of a general student that i'm talking about over you so i'll point out the difference between gmat and cat or compare gmat versus cat with respect to three points now number of applicants so over the last 5 years both cat and gmat have shown consistent rise in the number of applicants and since gmat is conducted throughout the year multiple times uh, the applicants are bit more for it but cat is not much behind there are almost 2 lakh applicants for cat every year and almost similar to gmat a bit more all right second is the ability to improve your score you have only one chance for cat it comes only once a year all right gmat it's like if you score less in an attempt and you want to repair for the examination you can do it within a span of like 2 months or 3 months again so this is a very good option that gmat provides but it is quite expensive also 17.5k almost all right validity of the score the cat scores are valid only for a particular year that is if you take cat in, in say 2020 your score will be uh, valid for 2021 admissions right because it happens in november 2020 let's suppose so your admissions will start after that uh, process is done in 2021 right you can use the score to apply uh, only for that year only all right you cannot use it for further years whereas gmat score is valid for Five years, another very good USP. So let's suppose you have just taken the exam and scored very well, but you want to continue with your job and join a B school three years later, four years later down the line. You can still do that with the same GMAT score that you have. There's this provision provided by GMAT over you. Usually, while deciding whether to give GMAT or CAT, you have to mainly take verbal into consideration as a major part. Why? Because GMAT's verbal. is quite different from the verbal of cat all right in what respect over year you have sentence correction you have critical reasoning over year right you have para jumbles in cat you have odd sentences all right so this is a very major difference because you have to learn grammar also for gmat for cat even if you do not know the grammar very well still you can crack the section all right the most important part in cat is rcs 24 huge questions come on cat uh, in cat on rcs right gmat it's nothing like that nothing is fixed so what i want to say is everyone's cup of tea is different so you have to first understand the syllabus the content and maybe give it a try for one or two days all right but if you are an indian you should definitely give cat according to me all right you should not get bogged down if even if you're preparing for gmat full fledged you should always give cat as a backup right anyway if you are a person that you have decided that i'm going to give another attempt of gmat even if i score less what's the downfall if you are paying 2k for this cat examination all right 
सो दैट्स वॉट आई एम टेलिंग यू दैज नो डाउनफॉल इन गिविंग कैट whether to take gmat or no it is your call whether you want to apply to outside universities whether you are ready to take the fees that you are going to have to pay in the b schools outside india uh, what scholarships you are going to apply how the selection process is for outside universities you should be clear about everything before even starting because it should not happen that you started with gmat and then you realize that you do not want to spend so much money into outside universities you would rather sit in india and study from a premier b school right so this should not happen at a very later stage when cat is literally literally one month away all right so what i want you to do is prepare for cat as well as gmat if if you are someone who is targeting even outside admission and you want to keep an indian b school also in your hand all right it's never bad to have options in hand your portfolio should always be strong besides what i feel in india there's a lot of phobia about cat cat is not actually different if you do the preparation in a proper way all right there should be a proper preparation for cat to crack it there is a proper method to crack cat once you know it how to do how to prepare how to schedule yourself how what topics to do in which what week you're definitely going to do good so guys that's all in this video i hope you take a sound decision of gmat versus cat i've kept all the facts in front of you if you have any doubts you can comment uh, on the video and ask whatever doubts you have and our team will get in touch with you thank you and happy learning